wouldn't know about doing another John Wick. You know, Lance is going to be in Ballerina, and that will probably be one of his last performances. Lance Reddick, who passed away uh, for, you know, uh, about, I'll say about two weeks ago, right before the premiere of this film. Um, so they put him at the front of the marquee, but to have worked with him for 10 years, Keanu Reeves, Loved his professionalism, but he was in high demand. He was getting ready to play like one of the high rulers in this uh, English uh, play that they had coming out, this English film. Um, he's he was in high demand. Like he just did the Residence Evil. You know, uh, he was excellent in playing different parts. Uh, he's a great. He was a great actor. Lance Reddick was. And uh, he will be missed if the franchise do move forward without him, which, um, spoiler, he dies in the film. They have a funeral for him in the film. So it's kind of, like, eerie, you know, that he dies in real life also, you know, so. Well... People are going to be who they are. I always tell people that over and over, and they never understand it or they never listen. But people are going to be who they are. Did I see a lot of changes from part three to four? Yeah, I, I mean, I like the character that was in the first film. If she wasn't in this one, I don't understand why, but she just wasn't in this one. Um, she was the main antagonist, really, in the third film, and she was going around extracting the justice and being the voice for the high table. She seemed to have disappeared for this film. Um, you know, I don't know why, you know, who knows why this stuff happens. It just happens, right? Now, moving forward, there's got to be some type of um, you know, a, a plot, you know, like what would be John's purpose now? He's out the game, you know, it's like there's nowhere for John to go. So a John Wick five, which most of you want to talk about and want to get into, really doesn't make any sense. If you think about it, like, where does that even make sense? Where would they even have time for John Wick 5? Have anybody ever thought about that? Like, John Wick 5. Where is John Wick going today? Like, like, seriously? What would John Wick be possibly doing in 5? What could possibly be his goal? I understand people love the entertainment, um, but... Absolutely, like, not would I be trying to go to these places or do these things, especially alone. You know, and John's burnt up all his bridges. Everybody who basically was with him has been assassinated, except for maybe two. And... To put John Wick to rest the way they did, I mean, to me, that's a, the proper send-off for John. Let him rest. You know, finally someone's not trying to shoot John. Because <laughs> everybody's a terrible shot for them to be experts. <laughs> so John Wick 5... Um, I didn't even get a chance to do the spoiler review before we were sitting here talking about John Wick 5. Um, 
They got the Continental Series coming, which is going to showcase the Continental Hotels. Yay. So the Continental Hotel will be on display. That's not going to be a problem. Then we're going to have, um, after the Continental, they got the Ballerina movie, which is already filmed. Should be out shortly in the HBO Max um, Continental series, which I'm hearing is 30 minute. It's like a four, like a mini series about Winston when he was younger running the Continental. So we're going to have a lot of John Wick ness around, you know, like Keanu Reeves is going to be in Ballerina. You know, he's filmed some shots for the Ballerina movie already. So. Who's appearing in it? We don't know how how much of his appearance is. The ballerina she appeared in the third um, John Wick, Parabellum, and you know, I just really feel a lot was accomplished in this film. It's just that things that were in part three that were not in this film, like characters, I wish was in this film to balance it out. But I guess it made for the better story. Or just, you know, blended things together. But to me, they want to introduce new characters, so I understood that. But having some of the other characters, I felt, was pretty essential. Now I have to go back and watch the third one to kind of get caught up on all the things that I missed. That was in part four that I probably missed out on. But the ballerina that was in the third one was actually replaced with a you know, more polished actor to be the lead. And so Ava is going to be the lead ballerina in this ballerina assassin who gets revenge on her parents or whatever. So it's the people who took out her family, right? Typical revenge movie. <laughs> so Screen Fame fans, I want to say thank you guys for riding with me so much. Um, appreciate it. You've been with me this entire vacation. Um... You know, I, I, my, I know I haven't been busy because I've been on vacation. So my main channel was the concern, mostly. But thank you. Um, promising to get more content to you now in the next couple of days. Stay with me. The Florida life has got me. <laughs> Shouts out there, Kwame Brown Bus Life. Don't forget to subscribe to One Crack News and Carcino for Life. Um, any more John Wick questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And yeah, that should be it. I'm out. Take care.